Welcome everyone to Vested Interest. This is Shane back again for another stock pick of the day. Today we are going to cover Brookfield Infrastructure Partners. It is May 24th. Let's jump right into the video. A quick overview of Brookfield Infrastructure Partners. You can check them out at bip.brookfield.com if you're interested to read more on your own, find out some of their holdings. Brookfield Infrastructure Partners LP Limited Partnership is one of the largest owners and operators of critical global infrastructure network which facilitate the movement and storage of energy, water, freight, passengers, and data. We are one of the few pure play publicly traded global infrastructure vehicles that invest in premier infrastructure assets with stable cash flows, high margins, and strong growth prospects. Brookfield Infrastructure Partners LP boasts an experienced management team with a proven track record and demonstrated commitment to growing returns to, with, to unit holders with an attractive distri distribution yield and distribution growth target of 5 to 9% annually. Brookfield Infrastructure offers strong risk-adjusted total returns to its investors. I like that they target a 5 to 9% annual growth rate. That does speak to uh, continual growth year over year as far as their targets. Typically, uh, inflation is around 2%, so that would beat most inflation. If they were hitting 9% now, they would be even be beating the inflation we currently have, which is elevated. Let's take a look at their performance for the day. They were down. Again, Brookfield Infrastructure Partners, ticker BIP. They are a limited partnership. You should do a little bit more research on that to understand them. They are taxed a little bit differently because they are a limited partnership. They are issuing, uh, it's, it's, it is a dividend, but it is really earned income is how they uh, tax their distributions. Again, talk to your financial advisor for more information on that to see if it's uh, appropriate for your needs. Some people like the qualified dividend. This would not be qualified dividends. These would be taxed differently. Qualified dividends usually taxed on a lower percentage. But again, talk to your uh, tax advisor for more information. They were down 0.43% of the day, so 61.80. Looks like in the after hours they were down a little bit more. Uh, so who knows where they're going to end up at tomorrow, by tomorrow. Again, you can see they were down during the day. Looks like they might have even been down a little bit further uh, a couple times in the day than they ended the day. Their 52-week range is a low of $52.92, a high of $69.01. So they are still closer to that all-time high. Maybe continue to watch them, see if they pull back further. Market cap of $18.893 billion. So they are on the smaller side, a beta of 0 0.80, still less volatile than the overall market. P.E. ratio of 34.95. Again, a real high here on the P.E., but with these limited partnerships, again, they have some funky rules uh, in the way they pay out and the way that they do their books. You'd want to look more into how they're managing their capital, what they're investing in, because these P.E. ratios can get skewed based on some of the, the way that they do their books and the way they're continually investing into new assets and resources. So you'd want to do a lot more research on that. Don't necessarily look at the P.E., even though it is on the higher side. does have a forward dividend of two point. $2.16 on the year. They pay out quarterly. It has a 3.53% dividend yield. So nice dividend yield. X dividend date is coming up May 27, 2022. I believe that's Friday. And as according to Yahoo Finance, they have a one year estimated target for the stock price of $90.45. So that speaks to quite a bit of appreciation over the next year if it does happen to hit this. Let's look at what some other analysts have to say. This is brought to you by StockAnalysis.com. Again, not affiliated with StockAnalysis.com or Yahoo uh, Finance. Just some places I go to pull information. Still looking at Brookfield Infrastructure Partners. According to the 16 stock analysts who have taken a look at this, they call it a consensus buy right there in, in the buy range. They have a one-year low of estimate of 65.65. It's already below their one-year estimate. And as we saw, it's continued to pull back in the after hour, so it may go lower uh, still. Might be one to watch. Their average is 71.57. Again, that would speak to 15% appreciation for where it currently sits. And if it was to happen to hit their high, they have a $77.70 high, a little bit lower than the $90 that we saw Yahoo Finance had, but that would still be 25.73% stock appreciation. This is one that's in my portfolio. I am long Brookfield Infrastructure Partners. I do believe it is undervalued currently. It is one I am watching to see if it pulls back further, though, before I add anything else. But anything below 60, I would look to add to Brookfield Infrastructure Partners personally. Again, you figure out what your entry point is and price that you want to pay for it. 
based on your time horizon and your future return needs. With that said, these are quick hitters, guys. I just want to bring you where I feel there's value in the market where some of the, as some of these pull back. And sometimes they're, they're, I don't find they're, they're a value. They may be pulled back 3 4% and still are overpriced, and we should continue to watch them. Again, this is one I'd love to get under 60 uh, in the 50 ranges, uh, but even at this current price, I consider it a buy. I'm just looking at some other things where I'm seeing more value that are a more of a buying opportunity in my opinion. As always, appreciate you stopping by. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to show me some love. Hit that thumbs up. Ring the notification bell. Subscribe to the channel. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the video. Let me know what you think of Brookfield Infrastructure Partners. Is it one you're watching? Do you have any limited partnerships in your portfolio? What do you think about them? Uh, how do you like the, the way they pay out? Or do you not like them? If you don't like the videos, let me know that as well. I do personally read and respond to all the comments. I'm always interested to read your questions, opinions, or suggestions for future videos. Appreciate everyone who has subscribed to the channel. Thank you guys. You guys are so awesome. You continue to grow the channel with your help. So if you, again, helping me out, drop a comment. That helps me out. Hitting that like button, that helps me out as well. This is Shane signing off. Wishing peace and prosperity to you and yours. And remember, financial security comes to those who take a vested interest. Hey, we'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by. I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing in this presentation should be considered financial advice. I'm only sharing my opinion and investing journey for educational and entertainment purposes. Investing involves risk. You can lose money. You should never invest any amount you're not comfortable losing. Always do your own research and invest based on your situation, circumstances, and selected criteria, or seek the advice and counsel of a certified financial advisor.